Welcome to jobskillshare.com. Today I'm making another video which is related to the help desk course. So if you guys go into the learning path, this video is going to be under file and access sharing. Um, so on the left side, if you guys see, go all the way down, file and share access, sorry. So work later. It's going to be a lecture video, kind of talking, and then also at the same time explaining the technical part of it. So the reason I'm making this video is as it helped us you definitely will be working on this too so um, I'm adding into this course so when you guys start new work or you guys want to know about it um, so you, you will have a, a, at least some kind of idea about what I'm talk, talk today so I'm going to open a little bit painting here so just to kind of explain some stuff and I'm going to start my professional drawing, which I am pretty bad. So usually, okay, so let's start something here. So in most of the companies, what they have is either NAS or some kind of storage server or anything that basically store uh, your information for users. You can use it for different, different stuff. It could be a company dealing with a lot of videos they need to save all these files it could be a company that deals with like you know documents and everybody works at the same time so stuff like that needs to be saved and there's like permissions there are different groups there are users and all that so just to give you a little um, picture of it so for example this is a little company let's say jobskillshare.com is our company and in this company what I want to do is I want to create a server that will keep all the data in here so all the share so I want to back this up I want to make sure that this server is backed up uh, that's not the part of this video but this is the important one so let's say for example I have users that join in to jobskillshare.com for example Dan just started in our company as a help this what you need to do is you might have uh, it depends on your company so you might have a like a specific folder for him only personal folder and you would call this folder like a p drive and you just want to map that to his machine so every time he logs in he will see p drive and he can save stuff in there and you just want to limit it to 2 gb so these are the stuff that you can you will it it depends how many gb you, you might not you, they might not even have a limit in there I'm just saying that it could be a part of your company the way it is. Then there's another folder that is a, called a group uh, folder and we'll call it G Drive and you will have something like that in your company where all the members, so let's say Dan is the member of uh, some kind of director team so only the director teams work on in one folder and everybody uh, in, at the director level they're all joined in so only they can have access so you need to know about that stuff because you might get a call from Dan that hey I can't access the director folder either he was not added to it or maybe somehow the permissions got messed up so you need to kind of look into this stuff too you will definitely get a call like that to work on other things are um, there's another uh, folder let's say for example only IS team or domain administrators can access this folder because there are apps and then you work on this daily to basically install apps get in, app, you know, install your applications like installers from vendors you keep them in your uh, folders here you just want to make sure that it's safe if something goes wrong with one of your production machines and then you can go back to the installer and install it again so that's why I wanted to make this video because uh, you know most of my videos are related to a uh, help desk calls um, how many calls do you get how and from where would you get it and how do you deal with them so I wanted to make this video because you do get something like that all the time um, so let's go back into the technical part of it uh, where basically it's it happens and how it happens um, I might be doing something very basic today like I'm not doing anything um, that I'm not gonna go through and design things because you know this stuff would be already done like I said most of the stuff will be done by your domain administrators who would kind of think about you know how to 
what's the best practice for this should we put everything on one server or should we just like split things in, in between two servers so then there's a load there, if there's a big huge file there's a huge share then you don't want people to log into it um, because a lot of people logged into it then there you know there's going to be performance issue so these are all like stuff that our server engineers will kind of before you they will think about this stuff and then they will give you access directly to these folders and then you're getting these small calls like you know like I just say that Dan was not able to get into the folder and then how do you deal with them and how do you add people uh, and where do you add them and stuff like that where would you go and to do this kind of stuff um, to kind of solve these problems so an example you know like when we came here this was our server so in this case our server is 2008 server which I already have here and and, and the clients are going to be Windows 7 uh, and we're going to add Dan uh, to our system and do everything make a P drive for him and G drive and all that okay so this is 2008 server what we're going to do first thing is just to give you an idea of how things are set up now in this order it's on C drive usually you don't save a lot of stuff like personal stuff or G Drive group folders and all that you don't you will never see that on an operating system where your operating system is all you always keep that away from the folders so that's one thing that you can do um, you will have a different uh, folder uh, drive here or something different than that um, and you'll have a lot of space in that area and then you can you know, decide to but in this case we'll just make a folder here we're gonna make a folder we're just gonna say users one and then all right we already have that folder here so I'm just gonna make another folder here so I have user two users two and I'm gonna just say groups like I said this is not going to be on a C drive I'm just doing an example so you got groups and then you got apps and that's on your server what you want to do is you want to make sure that now users are going to be adding to this uh, folder here so you might want to make sure that sharing and so the whole idea behind this thing how do you go to sharing you can do it this way you can right click on it uh, and go to that or you can right click here and then click share with um, that's the easiest way to do it but I always like to do it from advanced so you go to properties and then you click on share here go to advanced sharing here and then you click on share this folder so you got share name user 2 here and then go to permissions who got the permissions so let's say everybody got a read permission in there um, you want to add domain administrators to all that because if something happens you want to be uh, taking the ownership of that and kind of take troubleshoot make sure you got all the rights so now everybody can get to that folder but they can only read stuff um, and then we're gonna basically do other stuff with it. so we have a uh, we just gave this permissions we wanna do this other thing is you can do is like let's say for example you wanna change this name for some reason to some other uh, share name you can also come back here and type a different name here and it will still get to that folder uh, with that you can you can limit the the maximum some maximum people allowed there's a lot of people here but you can you say allowed or just say maximum people allowed here let me tell you something about this stuff if you are using Windows 7 and you're trying to share people look at the limit here and if I go back to Windows 7 and you think that you you can use Windows 7 for all the sharing and uh, even sometimes you might uh, share a printer on this machine only 20 people at the same time can connect to that share so if something happened you get a call that I can't get in to the share uh, because you you decided to use Windows 7 or with XP even less only 10 people can get into Windows XP and Windows 7 only um, uh, 20 people so if you go to properties here and if I go to advanced sharing uh, click on this and see this is the maximum you can go is 20 here so if 20 people get in there the 21 or maybe the 20th person will get a problem so they, can, they won't be able to do anything or if there's a printer share that somebody's trying to print things the 21 person the 21 student go in there to try to print to that share printer from Windows 7 they're gonna get error so that's why servers are um, made for this stuff you know they are um, they can take a lot of uh, people look at this so many uh, shares in there so of course that's why servers are there 
so we got that done we got the share done so now groups it depends how many groups do you have on your active directory and most of the stuff is coming from active directory and you're gonna be dealing with that a lot so just for example we're gonna go to user 2 here and we're gonna create a folder for Dan and we wanna make sure that Dan uh, gets this folder and only Dan get access to so you go to sh sharing and security here and you want to change this let's say users you don't want users to access this ex only um, um, Dan should so you can click on advance here change the permissions here take this inherit thing off remove everything got removed and we just want to add Dan here but here's the thing I didn't add Dan to our active directory so you gotta make sure first he's added to the system before you do this stuff so let's go ahead and add him so we're gonna add a new user here I'm gonna go ahead quickly do that so let's say decon is a new user whoops Dan Con. and let's just say decon he's a new user Give a password. Now, like I said, this is just for teaching purposes. If I was working in a company, definitely I would be doing something like scripting, putting a group policy so that everything will be automatic. Decon get logged in. He gets that username. Everything will be cool. Um, which um, most of the time you won't be dealing with that stuff. Somebody will have already done that in, on a GP group policy and then all you got to do is add this folder and do this kind of stuff you know like you will come back here you create a folder for Dan because you added him in the system now you did a computer setup you did everything else you got his computer setup now you want to make sure that he is he got this stuff already so you will go to server uh, server login will be provided by your administrator you will right click on this go to properties and then you go to security and you see that you go to advanced you take the permissions off inheriting everything is off and now we're gonna go ahead and add decon and see decon got selected here and we're gonna click OK and we're gonna apply OK for now just click OK and now only decon have access to it I can't even get in because I didn't add the domain um, admin so every time you gotta make sure you get what your administrator managers would want you to do sometimes even help this people might not be able to get into these folders because of the um, privacy issues or maybe HR documents or stuff like that but if um, if it's such a I mean it's not a big deal to um, go in then you might have like f groups in there so you want decon in there but you want also administrators in there too so you would add domain administrators so in case something goes wrong you should be able to um, troubleshoot it so now we added uh, the domain administrator in there too okay that's one thing you do other thing that I was talking about was uh, if you go back to group and then there's a group folder that we created is right here so sometimes let's say decon is like I said he was a member of a director team and this group if you go to the um, the sharing right now what we will do is right now we'll create a share let's say group share permissions we're gonna remove everyone now and we're just gonna add domain administrators so they got the full rights but in active directory let's say for example you got directors in there a team of directors and let's just do this uh, what we're gonna do is we're gonna create a group here and I'll say directors oh, let's just, just make it so global whatever you do this is your if it's a security group you're gonna click security if it's a distribution group you'll click distribution I'll just click security so now that group is created what I will do is I'm gonna go to properties and who are the members I'm gonna say okay decon is it one of the directors I'm just gonna add and there's gonna be multiple people a lot of people in this group and that's what we want in this share right now nobody else could get into this group because most of the time it will be group and then you add like other like let's say HR team so I'm just say HR and only in HR team only first I'm gonna do is right here like I said these will be probably given by your managers however they want to decide to do these things it is always good to 
take care of the shares on the upper level the first folder because then you're not dealing with this the like and if you go all the way down to uh, small folders and you're going to be dealing with it specifically to that folder and it gives a lot of problems so it's always good to have a good policy of how to do things at first level like what do you want to do with who do you want to add here and then at the, the when you go down to each folders and then how how do you want to manage this stuff so this this kind of look this kind of requires a little bit of thinking and a little bit of like you know doing a little study outside that what's the best way to do things so let's say for example HR team is the group um, in this group I, I want to remove everybody else from here and I just want to make sure that only uh, domain administrator in um, domain administrator and all uh, that uh, uh, direct group that we just added uh, is in there so we're gonna remove that and add uh, let's say DI I'm just gonna click on that DIRCT direct so now you see that direct everybody in that direct group will have access to this um, folder and then I can add the domain administrator if I want to domain administrator I'm going to click OK alright so now domain administrator and only the direct group have access to this nobody else can get in to this group and this these are these are the file and access stuff that you are gonna get calls for like you know somebody call you that hey I can't get to that folder what's going on you will first say okay if it's a new person you will just go to your properties and see is he a member of this group so if you see him if you don't see him and he should he's supposed to have access to that group you would add him but if you're not sure you're gonna ask the manager of that uh, person or you're gonna ask your manager is he supposed to be in that group and if they say yeah okay that's not a problem you add them and then once once you add them tell them to retry um, double clicking on that folder again and it will work okay so most of the time that stuff you will do with, um, with or maybe sometimes new user will come in and then for some reason your group policy is not working it's not updating what you need to do is you need to make sure that you know how to map their folders so basically I mean if you go to any of the document stuff or either document or let's say a folder here and um you want to like to know stuff like mapping and stuff or how to share that stuff like so you sometimes what people will do is like either they will put like a um, folder on their desktops or they would just you know use a group policy to map it to their computers so if you click on computer here you can click on map network drive and then you just click on like say whatever p if you're using a personal drive i'll say p drive here type the server name and type the address that we just created here this one right here for users so this would be so what you will do is basically if you know how to map a drive, I'm, I'm going to show you that sometimes you will say in an interview that I mapped a drive and then the manager will be like, okay, can you tell me how to map a drive on this computer right now? Uh, there's a share right now, so what do you do? The first thing you need to know is the computer name or the server name. Go to properties and this server name is Win2008R2. So I'm going to go back in there, say okay, it's Win2008R2, backslash, backslash, Win2008R2 and then back, one backslash and he will tell you on, on the example right here what to do and then you just type user 2 should be able to connect if not then I gotta look into it but this is another thing that it's not letting me because I wasn't I added this as a decon so that's another thing or you might want to go a little bit deeper in there because decon only decon had access to that so that's another thing just making sure that things are correct here I don't want to log into decon now and do all that but if you log into decon and then you put decon in here it should log you in because you got the access to that thing other way to check what uh, where can you do what can you do only on this profile right now this is the administrator account let's say R2 the way to check is if it's really accessible this is why here so I can get to Dan from here I can copy this and I can go back paste it here and finish and now I should see a map drive once I go back I'm going to click on computer well something is going on 
something that happened to my explorer but here so when we do the um, yeah, I wasn't sure what to put here you can always go back here and once you put the server name it gave me exactly the share address and I copied it and I put it back into a map network drive and here I can access the folder right since I was a domain administrator remember we put that I can also access that folder in there and that's what they see when they log in since we manually mapped it it's just gonna stay over there but sometimes your group policy does that for you and if they don't see tell them uh, log off log back in if still don't see tell them restart your computer the group policy will refresh itself so if it's still not working then there's something wrong with the group policy you want to come back here and do a little bit more or check into your server or talk to your server administrators and say that uh, if it's happening for a lot of computers that mean somehow your domain um, your domain controller is not doing uh, the group policy is not working correctly so they will look into it and this is how you do file and share accessing not too much about it we're gonna go details a little bit if we have some other videos um but not too much i mean but you definitely get calls on these stuff and uh, you should know um you should play around with your own computer open it up and share some files with your members at home or you know send some files in there try to add some uh, dummy users in there and then try to like log in from one account to another account and see what kind of things you're gonna get you're gonna get prompts and and what what kind of tell what kind of things you're gonna tell users and if they get prompts and stuff like that we do this all the time so it's good to know and to do the mapping sharing um, sharing groups and stuff like that so if you're new you're gonna get this kind of questions on your interview so alright hopefully you guys learned something from it and we'll see you in a different video thank you